Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Well, anyway, let's get this all loaded up. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right. You'll know. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. Cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, TBH, I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Hey, suit yourself, Redbusters. Ain't stopping me, though. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey. We're gonna pop your chair. Together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow?
I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah. Definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. And they were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope! Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry, yeah, um, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules. 
and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Hey. Hey, back. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? But if it was a competition, I'd still do pretty good, right? Well, if you adjust for inflation, Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Yo, little bro. Howdy. Huh. What am I looking at here? Dude, tanks are ready when you... How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. Hard to get anything accomplished with Captain Eagle Eye on our backs. Nah, she's just doing her job. Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. What do you think is down there? Based on the photos you took, I'd say it's a search and rescue plane, which is way cool. Don't know if there'll be much to find, but still, don't forget the camera. Pics or it didn't happen. Okay, Professor. Any hot tips on what I should be looking for down there? See if you can find anything to help us figure out what their mission was. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. I'm not 
not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. 